Well, damn. Ghettoized Daytona in the garage, covered by sheets. No rims, no tires. Got the Durango though, but still no rims, no tires. All the way around. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What's up YouTube, Carlos? Back again with another video for you guys. So, no rims, no tires. What do you think I did? It's so like I've mentioned before in my previous videos, there are changes to come, modifications, additions to my Daytona. So what do you think I do with my rims and tires? If they get stolen, I sell them. Am I getting my rims ceramic coated? Or am I getting new rims and tires? It sucks because I have not been able to drive my car, but it is gonna be well worth the wait, which it hasn't been that long. Um, but it feels like a lifetime not being able to drive Bay, of course. Now, I'm also in the predicament of painting my brake calipers. My biggest thing right now is, what the hell color should I go with? I was thinking yellow, then I was also thinking gold. Gold because the Daytona's interior, it's got little gold accents. Uh, the wifey threw me orange. I don't want to do red because most of the Hellcats have red brake calipers and I don't want to look like a Hellcat. I'm proud of my Daytona, so I want to try to do something different. So right now I'm looking at yellow, orange, possibly gold. Now, what paint do you may think I might be doing? I was looking at the G2 caliper paint. I was also looking at the Duplicolor uh, caliper paint, but Every Walmart or other convenience stores that have paint around me don't have the colors that I'm looking for. One would have gold, but they don't have the yellow, then I gotta go to somewhere else, and it's just a hassle right now. But at the same time, I don't know what fucking color to do my brake calipers. So, this is what I want you to do, and I'm gonna ask for your guys' help. What color do you think I should go with? Yellow, gold, or orange? Red is out of the question. Or should I just leave them alone? No, don't put that. Because I'm not going to leave them alone. Only thing is that I only have today and tomorrow in order to get these done. And I want to do them obviously quickly, but I'm going to do them right. So let me know. Gold, yellow, or orange? Never realized how big these Brembo brakes actually are, though. It's freaking crazy. They are ridiculously big. Okay. And why do you think I have sheets over my car? Okay. No, not worried about the dust and everything. It was because I was using this area, open area over here, to spray paint my engine bay covers. I was trying to fix uh, what I fucked up on my engine bay covers when it came to my hydro dip. I was doing the letters, the Powered by SRT letters, and the background behind it. But apparently I left the tape on uh, too long on the hydro dip after I hydro dipped it. And when I pulled the tape off, it kind of took the hydro dip off. So, I tried to rehydro dip it yesterday, completely fucked it up. So now I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Am I gonna order more film, redo the hydro dip, or just gonna paint it gray? Only thing is that I got my strut covers already hydro dipped, and I was hoping my engine bay cover was gonna get dipped and keep it that way. The biggest thing is, so I know how to do it now. More and more I keep fucking it up, I'm learning. But at the same time, it's just time, it's just time consuming. It takes so much time because you gotta sand it down, you know, clean it, then you gotta prime it, and then clean it again, then you gotta make sure you got your base coat. And you know, you don't want any imperfections when you go to hydro dipping it. So am I a pro at hydro dipping? No. You may be thinking, well you fucked it up. Nah, it was kinda my fault why I fucked it up, but it is what it is. That's how you learn. You live and you learn, the make you make mistakes when you go back and do it again. Hopefully you don't make that same mistake. So yeah, I just want to try to keep this video short and sweet. Uh, give you a little update. Obviously, you want to see my Daytona on all, all fours. No rims, no tires all the way around. Okay. All the way around. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Yup. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, side skirts, yes. A couple things I was also thinking about doing since I have access to it. I was going to... You put um, bolts, 
use actual like lug nuts and bolts, black ones, for these uh, JLT splash guards because obviously these little push pins absolutely suck. They come off. Only thing that's really holding this right now is this top pin and this little piece right here. So no rims, no tires. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. What color should I do? My brake calipers. And I also picked up a new product. I want to show you guys real quick. I haven't tried it out, but I heard it was pretty cool. So, yes, they all have, you know, Adam's Waterless Wash and stuff like that. Well, I picked up uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Waterless Wash and Wax. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to see what it is. I love Meguiar's products. Um, that's all I really use right now are all Meguiar's products. So, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I'll give you guys a little update and, you know, product review on how this is, actually works. Okay. Um, other than that, YouTube. I appreciate you, all the love and support you guys have given me. Um, anything you want to see, let me know, but please help me out. Let me know what colors I should do my brake calipers. And just stay tuned for the next episode for the surprise of what happened to my rims and tires. Y'all have a good one.